Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Lonnie at Grace Blossoms for you. And today I wanna try an idea that I thought of when I was putting up my new shower curtain. It's um, got this design on it, which is leaves. And I should do that lightly because I'm gonna erase that later. So I'm gonna start with pencil. And I'm using watercolor paper today, but you wouldn't have to, you could use anything. And then I'm gonna move on to my acrylic paint markers. I'll just have to, I wanted to do it dark enough so that I'd be able to see it. So this would probably be a good belly band shape or a page edge. The ones on the side here might be more difficult. All right, so then I'm picking a color scheme of three. And the ones on my curtain were kind of these, or close to these. Okay, I'm going to start with this one. Then each leaf is a different color. Something like that. So you could do this with, I don't know, watercolor, regular brush pens, anything you want really. I thought it would be a nice simple project for a Monday. I think they look nicer when they're kind of close together, but I want to leave some room, obviously. Okay, let's try the blue again. The fine tip might work as well. I just don't think you can see that too well, so. On the shower curtain, they obviously did it with the computer. Made the pattern that way, so it looks a lot more uniform. There, something like that. And then you could put them closer together if you like. I think I'd probably do that next time. And then you can erase the pencil marks. I 
You could make cards like this. You could, I don't know, you could do like a whole page for a journal. Um, pockets. You could make it, um, I don't know, whatever you want to put it on, you could do that. And I think it would look great. This is my first run at it, so I would say this is practice. And two, if it looks really terrible, you could always outline it. And then two, you could do for different themes. I need more practice on the right side because on the left side, I cut it kind of down to an S shape. On the right side, it would have to be like a backwards S, I guess. So, okay, so that's one. Then, there's a bit of a bigger one, and I thought we could do like maybe a, a fall theme. Or maybe I could just try my other green theme first. These would make excellent like journal cards. But too, I want to maybe make them a bit bigger. You can just play with it and see. On the shower curtain, they were all faced the same direction. Like they had the same pattern. And yeah, they were pretty much all going the same direction. I don't necessarily like that. So let's try something different. Okay, so then, yeah, you kind of do want to go as light as possible because some of the pencil won't come up if you're painting on top of it. But let's see. Um, I'll put that one aside, I think. Wait. The blue green well, let's go with those you wouldn't have to stick with three colors that's just I do that for myself to make it a little easier okay made a mess never mind okay so then backwards s Okay, that might work. Something like that. And then switch. Something like that. This one's not coloring as much. Maybe it needs to be more activated. But the backwards S and the S shape definitely work really well for the pattern here.
Okay, so you get faster as you practice, obviously. And then when you're done, you can again erase if you want to. I mean, you wouldn't have to. I'm just going by what the pattern was because it was definitely just, there was no border to it. It was just uh, the shape of the leaf was made by these curves. So yeah, backwards S on the right side and S shape on the left side. And then it wouldn't matter which way you turn them. So I guess the moral of the story is that you can grab inspiration anywhere. But yeah, if you're using acrylic paint, just know that your pencil marks may not all come up because they're now trapped under the paint. Might not matter for the darker ones, it's mostly the lighter ones, the lighter paint colors. So there's that one. So that's two we have now. And those would make good pockets too. And you can do different colors. Like I was thinking of doing a fall one. I'm sure these would look really good in watercolor too. Try these. Backward S, oops, so what do I do? It's probably a good idea to make sure your inks are flowing. And there's nothing hanging off the tip. Okay, so maybe the acrylic paint markers don't really like the watercolor paper texture. Um, brush pens might be your best option, unless you don't mind the broken up lines. I mean, they can add texture. So 
So yeah, there's that. That doesn't look too bad either. Um, I just want to see if these would look better on, say, water. Like maybe the texture would do better on regular regular paper yeah so it's not the pens it's the texture you write on them with So just experiment. Like I said, I used the watercolor because I like the thickness. If I used thinner paper, I would want to back it onto something else yet, so. Okay, so that. And then I was thinking, I have some butterflies sitting here. Oh, let's decorate the belly band, why not? And then, these might be too big a little bit hanging off there but I'm going to ink those I think and I would ink this as well So I got some of these butterflies and dragonflies from a Facebook group called Free Fussy Cuts. And all they ask in return is that you mention their, their name. I'll see if I can put a link in the description. so many groups on Facebook it's hard to keep track of them and I was thinking a small I thought the angle might make a difference that I could fit it on there but not quite There's a small butterfly. Some of the butterflies came from um, Creative Fabrica. Yeah, that one fits. I think this is going to be my next video. Making labels of things you have laying around. So I have this stamp, but it needs a backing. Uh, for now, I'll just ink it though. Something like that. I just need to attach everything. I was trying to clean up my area yesterday. Oh my goodness. I have one corner of my desk that's organized. Now I just got to do all the other corners. <laughs> and hopefully meet somewhere in the middle. Is my messy hands here. Now I could trim those or just leave them. 
I'm gonna fold that one around because it's got glue on the back. So yeah, that is what I was thinking about today. So hope you like that and uh, maybe give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Happy Monday and happy crafting. God bless and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.